Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Kenny and as you can clearly see folks we've got a different topic to talk about today or to show you rather. As you know probably well thousands of you have seen my video on how you can clean a black stone griddle and of course I'm talking about on the inner part where the propane heats up the top. Okay, now you've seen that video, but I want to show you today, and you hang around, I want to give you a couple of tips on how to clean this griddle top and to, look at, and to make it look really, really shiny as if it were almost new. Now, let me start off by saying this. This is an old, old grill, and it's pretty old, okay? So I'm going to show you how to restore this top up here. And by the way, of course, it's getting very close to grill time when in actually, actually, as soon as I get through the cleaning this top, I'm going to be throwing dogs and burgers, etc., on the top of this grill for the first time this season. It's about, about 65 degrees. It's partly cloudy. And it's a perfect time to grill out. And before you can grill out with a dirty grill, let me explain this to you. This grill has been in storage. And I didn't leave it out this time, okay? I put it in storage. But this top here is made of steel. And that steel gets rusty. Even if you, if you, cover, if you cover it, with just anything that you could imagine, it will still rust. Now, the best part about this grill is, is that the burners on the inside of it, underneath this grill top, they are stainless steel and they do not rust. But this grill top is steel and it's got to be cleaned. You can probably look, and I'll show you in a moment, it is totally, totally nasty. Now, to clean this thing, it's simple. All you need to start with is a bottle of Armor All. That's right, Armor All. Take this bottle of Armor All and I'm gonna show you, okay? You want, it, you want to make sure you get this grill top relatively warm. Now it's warm enough to where that I can touch it and it's not really, really hot, just warm. So that's gonna make this Armor All work better. Start off, just simply spray this thing like this. Give it a good damp, wet, with Armor All. Cover it completely. Make sure it's wet. And while I'm doing this, I'll tell you that you want to let this Armor All soak on here for about two or three minutes before the next step. All right, now we're going to let this sit for about two or three minutes. All right, now, folks, here is your second step. This thing has been sitting in Armor All for the past three minutes. So you can see it's nice and damp. And remember, too, that we have gotten this surface hot prior to the Armor All, just hot enough to where it will make it to where the heat can cause that metal to get warm enough to where that rust will loosen quite a bit. And that next step is you need a good cordless drill with a nice, nice steel brush on it. So let's go to work. This is how it's done. All right, now, I have got that part done. Now, your next step is it's going to be just a little bit dry. So, in order to get that stuff off, 
go ahead and spray it down again. That's all you got to do. Spray it down again. You're going to create some liquid here by doing so, which will help to annihilate that rust. Now, watch this. See that? I've already tested it just briefly. Notice here as we begin to wipe. Take a look. I have got that grill thoroughly, thoroughly cleaned with just one step. Now let me show you another tip. Now notice the brilliant shine of that. And I'm gonna tell you something. All I've got to do is just wipe off all of that armor all, which I've already done most of it, but when you light that grill, let that grill heat up real good, and then take some, uh, some other cleaner that's maybe like soap and water and hose it off before, of course, you put your burger or whatever you want to cook out on there. Heat it up real good and let it cool down and then apply some good soap to it and get all of that residue off of that because you don't want to throw those burgers on there after you just uh, did that armor all thing. No, 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 you don't want to do that. But let me show you how to clean some other parts of it as well. All right now, folks, I'm going to show to you, or show you rather, that there's tons of more uses with Armor All, not just to clean your car's interior. Spray the bottom of this grill like so. And you can also do this part here. It don't really matter. Just wet it down. That's all you've got to do. Take your paper towel and take a good look. Watch this. You can get that crud, all of that stuff that is on there. Look, that is the finest, finest cleaner on the planet to do just about any cleaning job that you could think of. It doesn't have to be your car's vinyl. You can clean anything with Armor All. Now take a look at that and take a look at that. Now I'm gonna go over this entire grill because I'm getting ready to put my burgers on and use this to clean the whole outer surface here, front and back. Plus, of course, you've already seen what it did for that part up there. All right now, folks, I want you to take one final look at this grill top. And I'm pretty sure that you will agree with me that this stuff works. It works. It takes just a few minutes to do the trick. Why don't you give it a try if you've got a black stone? And I can assure you, you will be pleased with the results. So listen, you might be a brand new viewer. Don't you forget to subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up, ring that bell. And as always, you have a wonderful, blessed day. And we will talk to you later.